guys it's a beautiful day in Henderson Nevada contrary to my handle Las Vegas collectibles on Instagram I don't live in the city of Las Vegas I live in a beautiful suburb called Henderson Nevada um, and today is a very special day I'm doing an entire collection overview of my pieces pretty much all of the figures that I have I'm not gonna go into depth in every single piece that would just take way too long um, but what I am gonna do is kind of just give you a commentary in between and a lot of you guys know if you've seen my videos I do a lot of off the cuff and what that means is there's not a lot of editing and stuff like that it's a lot of production value it's just a back and forth so I kind of make it as raw as possible but with that being said I'm gonna do a quick jump cut and we will start the video and we're off guys so first thing is the four pack of the Stranger Things Ghostbuster set this was a GameStop exclusive if I remember correctly and it was a comic-con uh, exclusive too so this is shared uh, first off, we're going to start with the Funko Pops, some more Stranger Things, Biggie. Uh, one thing about me, I am a huge Spider-Man fan, hence the bust bank there. And while we're at it, I'll show you the Thanos bust bank as well. You know when you got to save figures, right? Got to get that coinage. Uh, Spider-Man, Conan, more Stranger Things, Devil Jin. That was one of my, that was probably my second pop ever, second or third, Joy. That was the first pop I got at Brad's Toys, and I would later end up working there. Uh, love that place, still go there weekly. Uh, if you're in Henderson, check out Brad's Toys. There's three locations. Waterboy, that was one of my most recent. Queen, of course, Freddie Mercury, some Birdhouse, Tony Hawk. Love this game, Rampage, when I was a kid. That's a classic right there, Treehouse of Horror. Really cool. Um, this is a figure. Godzilla. I got the red one too, so you'll see that in just a second. That's a mistake right there, Paul Phoenix, but that's Jin. This is a big deal because uh, growing up, Power Rangers was my absolute favorite thing, pretty much in the world. Um, one thing that's nice about this little story behind this, I actually got to interview JDF because I had a press pass for Amazing Comic Con, and that's going down, and he did end up signing that for me. I have a couple of signed pieces, so I'll go through those a little bit later. Let me grab this guy. Love that piece right there. I had that when I was a kid, and I found it like two weeks ago. Like, literally when I was a kid, kid. Like, like five or six. Bioshock, huge Bioshock fan. This was my most recent pop, uh, the Exodia. It was the last one at the shop, and uh, I was lucky enough to grab it. Can't wait for the other two. And then hopefully they'll make an, uh, a Winged Dragon of Ra. I have this right here because it looks like a older Metal Gear from Metal Gear 2 when it was like um, like an 8-bit game almost. So I want to keep that just in my MGS collection. Got this when I went to go see Far From Home. Just a collector cup. Mr. Jeff Goldbaum. Goldblum, whatever. Uh, Crash. Spyro. Got that. Sorry if the angles aren't as good for some of these guys. Some Marvel Legend action. Uh, Mr. Professor X. Ozymandias from uh, Watchmen. Big Portal fan as well. It's, it's an underrated game in my opinion. I have this Gundam that was from a friend of mine and pretty much it is uh, for my Ready Player One collection. More White Ranger stuff. This is a really cool one from that same friend. Uh, it is the movie version of the action figure. So really dig that. Love the boxes too. This is uh, what I consider to be somewhat of a grail as far as the Arkham collection goes. That's Bane. I don't keep them all in boxes, but some of them I do. I feel like if I took him out, and it, he might come out at some point, there's just not too much articulation. There's not too much to do with it. So that's why I don't really, you know, take some out. I'm going to move back over here. These are some Funko Pops, some Bioshock. Uh, the last, the Last of Us, the game just came out like two days ago. So any fans of that. Um, some Dorbs, don't really collect too many Dorbs. These ones are cool, they're just uh, more colorful ones, which I dig. Just cool for like, kind of like decoration type stuff. This is actually a Chase as well. Uh, Megatron from the game, Fall of Cybertron, I believe. Either Fall or War for Cybertron. Here's some Marvel Legends, and we're gonna go through a lot, as you can see, Marvel Legends. Sorry for any blur, guys. Um, so we got the two Hulks, just some more Iron Man Legends, War Machine, that's a grail in my opinion. This one right here is a custom, kind of, I just threw the Halo cape on it that Master Chief came with and he looks like a Stonekeeper. I'm not going to go through every legend and 
you know, where I got it and this and that, but just like the more significant ones. This is one I consider a grail, the low key. Sorry if it's super bright, but it is very sunny today and I wanted to get that natural light. Definitely a grail, that low key. Doctor Doom, which is cool. That would be cool for a Marvel versus Capcom set. Well, the first, the first build a figure I ever actually built right there, because it was the wings. It wasn't that hard. So, another Grail. This is from my friend RJ. Uh, Rhino Marvel Select. Some selects you got to just add to the collection instead of the build, the build a figure or the Legend itself, just because it's better. He's bigger, so that's why I went with him. The thing that was cool. And then just finishing off with some Fantastic Four. The surfer, uh, he's pretty dope too. I like that shine. Alrighty, back there you can see the Scooby Doo van. Everybody's been going crazy about these things. It's not this van, it's the other van that a lot of people are customizing, but it's. I'm a big Scooby fan either way. I was trying to get the set of the people, the gang, but a lot of them sold out because they were like five bucks clearance and I missed that. Um, you have this, this is for Ready Player One. This is one of the best movies for sure, animated movies. Um, really like the Iron Giant. Uh, but yeah, that's for a Ready Player One set. Lambo, I've always wanted a Lambo. I still want a Lambo. One day I will own a Lambo. Mark my words. Another one, I'm gonna put them in like a Tony Stark garage type thing. This right here, let me actually grab it. So, again, a lot of production value stuff following whatever. Um, this one right here was actually, is actually a custom. Um, you get the Bandai for like 10 bucks or, or 15 bucks or whatever. See the gold tips, I added that. The red visor, I added that. Added some gun metal to the silver and all that. All this gold highlighting, I added all of those things. The tail was not gold, added that. This is the gun metal, as you can see. Some red spikes here and there. All the little details, that's what makes the difference, really. But yeah, that is technically a custom, so. Yeah, I, it's not just because I did it, but I think it looks really good compared to what the base figure was. These Bandai figures, that's what I believe they are. You can definitely make a lot out of them as far as, like, customization. Somebody fell. It was Human Torch. This right here, this is gonna be crazy some of you guys, but I just got into the Mass Effect game series like this year, 2020. Yeah, I know, it's crazy. Bumblebee, this is one of the kind of companion pieces to that right there. And like I said, there is that Godzilla, okay? That's the one that is uh, kind of like, that's when he goes like nuclear in the second movie, so it's, it's a really cool piece. They never restocked it at Target. It's a Target exclusive, so I'm glad I got it. I traded it for a Red Hulk to one of my buddies. Going up here really quick. That is a Halo um, Pelican, GameStop exclusive. Mysterio, sorry about the lighting, guys. I know it's, I'm going against this right here, so that's why. But here, we can turn it this way. Mysterio, this is the like limited edition. It's like the metallic variant. I had both, but then I got rid of the other one just because I wanted to figure I'd just keep the metallic one. Don't need a hundred of him. He's one of my favorite villains of all time though. Got this for five bucks on offer up. Can't beat that for the movie series. This is the Batman collector's edition. I'm a big Arkham video game fan, so really good. Speaking of Arkham, there's some figures down here. So we'll just keep going through those. Joker's cool, got that from a friend. So did I, so did, so was the Penguin. Some Halo, I really like this Halo armor. That's a badass. And that armor right there. Uh, I believe that's Linda, yeah, it's Linda. Star Wars, some Bane. Uh, they're kind of mixed up, I tried not to mix them up, but once you start going through boxes, you just find stuff that goes with other stuff and then you've already set up that stuff, if that makes sense. You don't want to like mess it up. So Nathan Drake. Demogorgon, Stranger Things fan. These are kind of like fun, just crawling figures. And they all got clearance at one point, so I can't really beat that. So, Star Wars, Captain Phasma, Spider-Man original movie. Some Power Rangers action again. So, Star Wars, The Last Jedi, that was my favorite one out of all of them. Then it's Revenge of the Sith. Uh, don't even bother arguing in the comments. I've had every argument that you could possibly fathom. 
it's my favorite movie and that's that. So as far as the Star Wars series goes, I like that they changed it up. So that's, that's probably the biggest reason why I think it was cool. Um, um, 12 inch Black Panther, I used to have damn near all, all of these, minus the Deadpool. I didn't think I needed a hundred Deadpools, but uh, I kept the Black Panther because it's a, uh, mainly it's a um, good display piece with the throne, like behind the throne. I think it's cool. Uh, the Hulk was there, but I sold him, and it, that was, honestly, that was a really good figure, but that's that. Uh, didn't take this out of the box. Hey, hopefully you can see it. Metal Gear Solid uh, Rising. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, sorry. This is the variant, this is the orange version, that's the variant. Play Arts Kai. Don't own too many Play Arts Kai, but I, I can respect some of their figures for sure. Jump on the floor here. This right here is a uh, custom. It's custom made. Here, let me jump in the light with this one because I'm pretty proud of it. So that is a custom. He was black before this. And I made him look like the Marvel vs. Capcom Venom. So yeah. Let me uh, grab this. Pretty dope. You put them here. There might be some random jump cuts in this video just for like kind of time's sake and I would just maybe just want to put the video clips individually, so. Mysterio, gallery select. Here's some vehicles, again, from The Last Jedi. I don't know what those are called. Uh, don't know what that's called, but obviously it's from Avengers. And then the TIE silencer. Mr. Kylo Ren's vehicle of choice. This is from uh, my buddy Jay, Jay's Toy Lab on Instagram. He's a homie. He has, honestly, one of the collections to aspire to. Really good setup. The way he has everything set up. They, I do have the weapons, they're just in the box right there, so. Right here, gauntlets. If you'll notice, this one is actually signed by Mr. Ron Lim. He was one of the artists for Infinity War. He was really nice. Uh, we were leaving. It was, it was Las Vegas uh, Amazing Comic Con, and he was still there. And there was no line for him. Everybody was just shutting down. It was like the second to last day or whatever, and I just asked him, I was like, hey, do you mind signing this? And he was totally cool with it, so. Really cool guy, really nice guy. I believe he's from Hawaii, so. Hot Toys, I do own a Hot Toys. I used to have two, the Electro from this movie, or the second movie. Again, big Spidey fan. This is one of my favorite suits, indefinitely. Imagine if the eyes were white, it would be the perfect suit. The jacket's from a Tony Stark hot toy. I just bought it online for like 10 bucks or whatever. This is not a Hot Toys, it is a Real Action Heroes uh, Medicom figure. This is the grail of all grails for me. It, I wanted this figure back in like um, 2009 or 10, whenever MGS4 came out. And it, I remember thinking like 200 bucks was so much. I didn't get this for 200 bucks. I got it for a lot less double digits less um, but again a grail I want to get a leather jacket for him and be done with it he's pretty much complete um, I, he's missing like one thing but it's really not a big deal I think it's like one of the weapons accessories but we're gonna get away from that again grail gets kind of dark over here guys uh, sorry the lighting's kind of off but Blade Runner 2049 such a good movie people don't talk about that movie enough one of my favorites uh, these are NECA collectibles. NECA is one of my favorites, if not the favorite uh, company that I like. So, before we get to the stuff over here, we're going to go down this shelf. Heavy Infantry Mando, The Mandalorian is a cool show. Anybody know what this is? Grayson Hunt, I believe. Bulletstorm, if I remember correctly. Got him the other week, I should know that. But Another custom. Uh, I get a lot of people on my Instagram commenting that this is blackface. It's not. It's not. If you don't understand why it's not blackface, then go look up and research what blackface is, essentially. This is a skin in the game. It's called the Fear Skin. He looks like this in the game because it's like an alternate costume that you can wear. It's not mocking anybody, but I'm, I'm happy with how it came out. It was a perfect mold to paint to, and, uh put some dirt on the jeans and everything like that, put the black on the shield, glad how that came out. Really happy with that, so. 
Custom. Play Arts Kai Armored Batman from Arkham Asylum. Just a good figure. I really like it. The arm's kind of busted, to be honest with you, but it can be glued back or just popped back. Um, looks good. I really like that figure. One of the greatest shows of all time, Breaking Bad. And that's that. I'm probably gonna get Saul and uh, Gus, maybe. I don't know for sure, but these are cool figures for what they are. They don't really need to articulate or do too much, so. Kratos, God of War 3. I wasn't gonna buy this until I played God of War 3, and then I played it, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get it. You guys can see me, face reveal. Um, yeah, one of the best figures out there. I have the sword of, uh, I think it's Athena or whatever it may be. Really good figure. The Naomi and Sistus gauntlets, I painted them gold for this. I have two sets, and I painted one set gold, so totally worth it. My first pop ever. Didn't know anything about Funko Pops, took him out of the box. He's not like a hundred dollar pop, excuse the dust by the way. So I'm glad like that that didn't go up in price so much because I'd regret taking him out of the box. Halo 3. You guys can see me face a real Halo 3 um, collector's edition helmet. Got this for 10 bucks on offer up. This was my first offer up buy. Guy was just getting rid of it. I was like, all right, fucking done deal. Goes for like a lot more. Mass Effect, I own the whole set. You'll see the other figures later. Um, this right here is a grail, in my opinion. And he does actually light up, too. Have you played Dead Space? Such a good game. Horror, like, redefined in space. It's great. The atmosphere is perfect. Um, but that's a grail. NECA grail. They make a couple different variants of him, too. Marcus Phoenix. Got that for, like, a good price. I'm gonna stop talking pricing. <laughs> Thanos set up. Let me zoom out a little bit. Really dig this. The gauntlet and the head are both banks. So it keeps some coinage in there. But yeah, that's the Thanos set up. I'm a big Thanos fan, just in general, as far as villains go. We'll go up here really quick. Making great time, by the way. Only like 15 minutes, 16 minutes in. Well, combat. This is the only chase I've ever found in the wild. Believe it or not. You, I mean, you guys understand Funko Collectors, so. It's not a Funko Pop, but it is a Funko item, so. Amiibo, Solid Snake, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Spirited Away, no face. Venom from the Blu-ray set. This is cool, you don't see this often, it was limited. I found it at Target, just, I really dig that piece. Again, Thanos fan, so. Breaking Bad, that was from Zia Records out here in Las Vegas. I like this because I consider it a chase because it's an upside down logo. That's what I like about it. This one is a chase. Randomly found that at a Walmart after seeing it on Instagram. I went to Walmart and I was like, shit, maybe they have it. Somebody had opened the box on the pallet, took out a figure, and I was like, damn, I'm sure it's a chase. Look in, the chase is still there. I was like, okay, hell yeah. <laughs> Mysterio from the old Spider-Man animated series, so, okay. One of my favorite games of all time, uh, Halo. Here are the Brutes, Elites, everything in between. Essentially all of these are complete. I just didn't need to feel the need to get all the accessories and stuff like that. I have them all in bins right now. This is kind of a grail piece, the Hunter. He's complete as well, Those spikes. A lot of Halo stuff you, you find on the market is not complete, it sucks, but that's the reality of figures that are 12 years old, whatever it may be. More than 12, probably like 14. So, that being said, another reflection shot, the Halo 4, this is a wearable helmet. Star Fox. This was my last purchase at, um, one of my last purchases at Toys R Us before they tanked. So. Keep that. Big fan of Star Fox. Memories from childhood. This is the exclusive, Walmart exclusive soap. I'm glad they started making Call of Duty figures. They're, they're awesome. Ghost. Toys R Us exclusive. Uh, Gypsy Danger when they're about to jump into the uh, Antiverse or whatever. It's a solid figure. This is one of the more expensive NECA figures. Goes for more just because one, it's portal, it lights up. It has good features. Uh, portal gun lights up too. You just don't see this too often, so I need to get Atlas. 
complete the set because I do have a shell. I like to pin up figures when I can if they have like some type of wall or element or something like that where you can pin them up. That's just preference, so. MJ from Spider-Man. More Halo. This is the top of my closet here. Cortana, 18 inch quarter scale chief by NECA. Honestly, such an incredible figure. Got that at Toys R Us when they were still here, so. Halo armors, man. 100 of my reflections right there. This was a mail-in? I got it for five bucks on eBay. This was one that you had to mail in like some mailer or something like that to get it. It was exclusive just to like Bungie or Joyride Studio, sorry. Halo 3 Chief, so. I love this setup right here, the way I have it. Um, that's not bragging, but yeah, I dig it. Um, just an Infinity War slash Endgame setup. Some of them have the Infinity War suits, but it's all good, doesn't really matter. Um, just dig it. I love that setup, and you can see, man, they're like all back there, kind of, so. Iron Spider hanging off. The Praetorian Guards, I like these jacks. I got these, I had, I know they make the smaller ones, but I got these because I wanted it to look like more like artistic, like a poster, so I'll have these in the background of my Star Wars figure. More of a perspective piece. I'm not gonna go through all of these, but this is what I've been collecting recently. Gears of War, man. The NECA figures go for a lot, and I hate it. This is a grail of all grails, in my opinion. The Carmine figures are hard to get. There's one that I still don't have, and yeah, I mean, that's just that. These figures are hard to get, the Carmine ones. This guy I got for a really, like, unrealistic price. Um, and shout out to that guy on eBay, because I had bought from him before, and he was like, yo, I'll hook you up with this. So. If anybody has the weapons, for Scourge, let me know. Hit me up on Las Vegas Collectibles on Instagram. It's LAS underscore uh, Vegas, V-E-G-A-S underscore Collectibles on Instagram. I'll put a link in the bio and then I'll also, um, I'll put some, some, like a tag in this video, so. Clayface from the Arkham series. Quarter scale, Peter Parker. NECA again, killing it. Um, Funko Pops that are signed. Now you'll notice there's a Gus Fring up there. He's not signed because of COVID-19. Amazing Con was canceled. Hopefully it comes back. That would be such a dope piece to get signed. Like something that a lot of people hope don't have signed. Everybody's hyped for like him for uh, Star Wars, The Mandalorian. I'm hyped for him still in Breaking Bad. That's what I want to get signed. Not the Star Wars stuff, the Breaking Bad stuff. More gears. That's kind of a grail right there. The boomer. I have both boomers, the mauler and like the one with the gun, so total grails, man. You gotta have a uh, dual set of boomers. Back there, you can't see them too well, but see those tanks right there? That is the flamethrower. Uh, Locust. Cantus, that's a grail too, so. Got a Bioshock Booker DeWitt down there, and I forgot who the other guy, oh, Grunt from Mass Effect, signed. Yeah, so. Moving on. And this is kind of the last part of this section here is the Spider-Man animated series set. There's literally only one I need left. I dig that they're making the new ones with the this type of packaging so they'll work perfectly up here. I'm gonna keep them in a box. I'm not gonna buy doubles, I usually don't buy doubles. Unless I'm trying to customize, so. Intermission, Halo Cortana, where's the button? Still lights up. Facing backwards, for whatever reason, that's how the packaging it got flipped around, so. Sorry if my hands are shaking or whatever, it's hard to keep. I need to get uh, an attachment for my phone. Here we go, stabilize it. And boom. Just gonna do it. Quick sweep this way. Some Spider-Man figures, Spidey on the wall, Zelda, Mando, Carbonized version, and Noble 7. We're gonna do a quick jump cut to the Marvel Legends section because it, it is big. Boom, and we're back, ladies and gentlemen. And these are just the Marvel Legends. Um, that's the majority of my collection. 
that collection I have the most pieces for. Um, and yeah, we'll just go through them. I mean, there's, they're kind of self-explanatory, not too much. If I find an interesting story with one of them, I'll definitely shout it out. But let's just go ahead and go through these guys. So we got the Hulkbusters, the Black Panther set, um, Crossbones, Bruce Banner, he's a harder one to get. I believe he only comes in a, like a four pack or something like that. So he's definitely a harder one to get. Huge Dark Knight fan. I know these aren't legends, but I put it with him. Um, got the tumbler, got the bat, and then got the bat pod. So that's from the collector's edition of the Blu-ray. I just popped it off the thing, the pegs. Halo, swords. Um, yeah, they're just cool to have on the wall. So like an armory type of thing. Speaking of armory, the Hall of Armor. Not too much to say about these guys. This Killmonger face looks exactly like Michael B. Jordan. Thanos from the three pack, that is one of my grails to date. The Ragnarok stuff. Okay, I'll just go here and then I'll just zoom out. Comment down below, guys. What do you collect the most of? Legends, there's so many of them, and the movies are great. So I'm, I'm a big MCU Legends fan. So I know a lot of people are just strictly comic, but I'm MCU most of the time. I think it's cool to have them side by side, comic and MCU. So. Transitioning here. This I'm proud of. This stuff right here I am definitely proud of. Um, if you don't know, these are the McDonald's Endgame figures that came out. There was like a set of like 30 or something like that. I, I can't even kind of remember the, there's like 26 or something like that. Uh, the rare ones are this one. That was the mystery one. And even harder to find was this one right here. Shout out to Lisa. Um, she's one of the customers at Brad's Toys when I was working there and she, uh, she hooked me up with a, she found one of these groups and hooked me up with it. So big shout out to her. I dig them. They're awesome. The Thanos is cool too. Again, Thanos fan, so. But yeah, Groot and uh, Black Panther, harder ones to find. But that was fun. I mean, going, sorry, just going back to it. It's just fun. So hunting is fun. If you can just buy everything online, sit at home and do nothing, that's boring to me. Half of the fun of collecting is finding the collections that you want out in the wild, so. Especially if they're more rare and harder to find or older figures, that's the fun of it, right? So, obviously any of us could go on Amazon and boom, click a couple times and three days later, our figures are there, but the fun is hunting with your friends and stuff like that, going to trade events, stuff like that, so. Some of them you have to, you can't really find in the wild, so. Spidey, huge Spidey fan, man. Waiting for a comic book Iron Spider. That would be cool. Come on, Hasbro. Some of these go for a solid amount of money. Uh, Hobgoblin, he's a grail for sure. For sure. Electro, original one, he's a grail. They're remaking him, but I'll always consider the original the grail. X-Men. Anybody play the old X-Men game on PlayStation? That was the shit, the fighting game. Venom fan. He's missing his tongue, but I found a replacement random tongue to put there. <laughs> Sounds horrible. Plasma pistol, needler. The Spectre, if I remember correctly. The Ghost, uh, Molten Man, Scorpion Tank, and then again, the two swords. All right, guys, we're almost done, actually. I know, the collection's not as gigantic as some other pieces. You could, I could talk about each of these pieces for a good minute, but yeah. We are almost done. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next section. And this is kind of essentially the last section that I'm gonna go through. And we'll just get right into it. Halo Warthog, man. I found this for $13 on offer up. The person had no idea what they were selling, but they were like, oh, I can do 13. I was like, I can too. Sounds good. Um, this is the McFarlane Halo Reach Warthog. Uh, they do make a uh, die cast one. I think it's from Jazzwares, and uh, that one goes for like 150. I know where it is right now. They have a shop out here. Brad always has it. Um, but yeah, this is the McFarlane one. Again, I had two of them. I had two of them 
and uh, I traded one in because I don't need two that are the exact same thing. The only difference was the gun, the other one was like the anti-aircraft. This is the classic Gatling gun, so I didn't need to, and I, I wanted to trade towards some figures, so that's what happened, long story short. Metal Gear Solid, uh, GameStop exclusive, statue, it's cool. Just a recent acquisition. One thing you don't see too often, they build a figure, Metal Gear Ray. That thing is jacked up. It, it, um, <laughs> the plastic was so old when I opened the McFarlane figures that I found, um, it just pretty much just broke. The joints just snapped, essentially. So I had a friend of mine uh, glue it together and stuff like that. It, I mean, it stands and everything like that. It's just, you can't articulate it whatsoever. But it's all good, I don't really need that one to articulate, so. Some MGS classics, man. Are they horrible in head sculpt? I mean, look at this one. Look at this solid snake face. Look at this one. Oh yeah, that's horrible. That, that He looks like some football player or something like that. Um, got like a bigger face. I don't know why I said football player, whatever. Uh, are they horrible sculpts? Yeah, this one's cool. The translucent. Uh, the only one I need is translucent Gray Fox and the set's complete for the old McFarlane ones. I just think it's dope that they made those. McFarlane, uh, Todd McFarlane, if you're hearing this, start up the line again, man. You guys have the tech to make a lot of new cool stuff. And I know you do because you're doing that spawn um, Kickstarter right now, so. Um, but yeah, are the, sculpt, the head sculpts and all that kind of shitty? Um, are the joints kind of crappy? Yes. They are, but there's a charm to these old figures. It's just one of those things, you know? Doesn't have to be the best of everything, you know? Killer Croc. Um, a friend of mine gave me that. Sold it to me. Found this at a convention for a great price. Bioshock figures go for too much. So now we're jumping into Mass Effect and stuff like that. Some vamp action. This was hard to find, but I found her locally, which is a shocker here. I'm gonna kind of step in between, there we go. So the lighting's a little bit better. Jumping into Bioshock territory, guys. So, that's the light up, Big Daddy. Found the tanks separately. One thing, if you collect Bioshock, you're never gonna find the freaking tanks together. So, that's always nice. Got a big sister. Used a Dremel to put that in. A friend of mine did that. So it's a lot more stable than the plastic that they give. The Elite Bouncer. Sorry guys, these figures are all kind of clumped up. It's just space, honestly. I'll look them up if you are interested in them to see the whole figure. I just wanted to give you an overview of this stuff. So This is the grail of all grails in my opinion. Why is it the grail of all grails? It is the grail of all grails in my collection because when I was younger, this was the first movie my mom uh, took me to go see, Spider-Man 1, and that will always hold a place for me, so that's why. And this is, if I ever gave, if I had to give away the collection, this is a piece that, this is one of the few that I would never give away, no matter what, so. This, this, and the reason why is, again, my mom also bought me this toy when I was younger, and I, and I left it in the box, and she had returned another thing that I had got a Spider-Man set. She returned it and I left this in the box. So that's somewhere, some kid got both the figures and that set, so. Spider-Man and Green Goblin. But yeah, grill because of the memories. Mafex, underrated company in my opinion. Love the Mafex figures, so especially the Bat Dark Knight ones. So you can see Batman. A friend of mine gave me this at a trade event, we traded. That's, he goes for a good amount. That's the GameStop one. Or he did, at least. Ready Player One, such a good movie. Can't wait to have that set up done. I need the DeLorean. Some more Arkham figures. Love the armored Batman. This is where you get into kind of rare territory. The Garrus and all that stuff. Got him for a really good amount because his foot just kind of messed up. His leg joint's kind of jacked up, but... Again, they're static figures, in my opinion, so you're not going to really articulate them anyway. Deathstroke. Grunt. This is the Funko Pop that I got signed. So. Tolly. 
somebody in the comments who are these guys what's the series what's the show tell me this is this is like a deep cut into the childhood Raiden one of my favorite characters in MGS MGS4 Raiden MGS2 Raiden was eh okay some more Arkham the Riddler goes for a good amount out of box regular editions of soap and um, ghost translucent um, psycho mantis translucent middle gear solid four snake i love that the shine is still there it's not yellowed and it won't be <laughs> halo four chief yeah and there's a couple more here got this guy just a random Thanos figure. Again, these are like this, this stuff like this I didn't add just because they're more knickknacks, but he was right there, so I figured I'd kind of give you an example and grab him. This right here, Anakin Skywalker Unleashed, and the companion piece that sticks with him, um, Obi-Wan Unleashed, and they come with like lava effects. That's one of the coolest battles, in my opinion, of the series, is Anakin versus Obi-Wan. Definitely a monumental battle, so. And that's it, guys. That's the collection. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Actually, there's a couple more. Sorry. 12-inch <laughs> uh, Doc Ock, 12-inch Green Goblin, and regular Doc Ock. That's my foot. Hope you guys enjoyed the collection. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. That's what everybody says. I am trying to build a YouTube channel, but um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Hit me up on Instagram, Las Vegas Collectibles, if you have any... Um, questions or anything like that about the collection other than that guys uh hopefully i'll make a new video of something soon i might start doing reviews of all these figures and stuff like that um if that's something you guys would be interested in or in general i want to do that so i like talking toys just might even do a podcast one day who knows but i hope you enjoyed i'll do a quick pan and then that'll be the end of the video guys thank you <laughs>